In this video, I'll show you my own take on how to create an almost consistent character. Also, there will be a piece of bonus information in the video. I know there are tons of videos that explain how to create consistent characters using Midjourney on YouTube. Some have used uploaded images of themselves from different angles while others just keep on refreshing until they get the image they wanted or use seed prompt while some have used stable diffusion and many more. Now this is my own take on the subject. Also keep in mind Midjourney doesn't provide the same exact character. It always provides some small or big variation of that image. Okay, let's head over to Midjourney. I will show you how I do it. If you haven't signed up, please click on the link above this video. Or I recommend my friend's 80% off AI art course for beginners. He easily explains on how to start on Midjourney and prompts. You can find that in the description below. Here in Midjourney, we'll use the character generated by it. I already went ahead and created the characters and workflow, treat it as a guide. So I love anime ever since. So we'll use anime version in this example. You can use other images or real images if you want in this guide. So I put in the prompt face of a college uh, student uh, hyphen hyphen Niji. So I forgot the A college student. So forgive me for that. So I already created this and this is the character I liked. So I upscaled it and, and this is what it showed. Okay. So to be organized in, the, uh, in this video, I created uh, threads for each portion, the scene, the location, and profile. All right. So the first thing we need to do is to create a thread for the profile. So in order for you to create a thread, you click on the plus sign here, and then click on create thread. And on the right side, you just type in the, what title you want the name of the thread would be. So I created a profile. So the first one you need to create is the profile. And then you just click on hello. This is just for the example. And then we do have another profile. See? So we just delete that because it's going to be different here. So we have a profile already created. So on this profile, this is where you create your pro uh, on this profile your characters to show in side view, front view, back view, you name it. So you just change the profile to back profile or side profile or front profile. So before you do that, you just need to have the image you need. So we already created our image. So what I did is just right click on the image and then copy the link. And then you go to the profile and then you t place that prof uh, profile here, sorry, the, the image, or you, you paste that like this one, yes. just forward slash imagine and then paste the information. And then face of the college student, Niji, and then press on enter. Now, as a result, when I press on enter this, as a result, uh, this is what it's going to look like. Now it's not going, it's not the same image that we have for the first one it doesn't he doesn't have a ponytail but he has a wavy hair so in order to get that same image you just need to add something that describes that image so i just paste the same image and then put in the face of a face of college student that i use uh, to create this image uh, to create this image and then comma full body profile comma wavy hair since he has a wavy hair and then hyphen hyphen no space ponytail hyphen hyphen niji now i used hyphen hyphen no this part here this is to uh tell mid journey this is a negative prompt so to tell mid journey that you don't want your image to have a ponytail all right so you're just letting Midjourney know that you don't want that on that image so once you click on that you have something like this all right it will provide you the side view the back view all those kind of stuff now it gave me this result 
this is the the one I was looking for side view of a profile all right so that's what I selected and then once I pr it provided me that information now we have to uh, if you're doing something like a project or anything um, you want that character to be in a location so how do we do that in order for you to do that you need to create another thread so create another thread called location all right so I already created this thread in advance and then I put in classroom hyphen hyphen AR 16 by 9 hyphen hyphen Niji now 16 by 9 is the aspect ratio it's a wide aspect ratio uh, it's wider than the 3 by 2 so in this example I was imagining that the college student will need to go to the school all right he needs to go to school so that's that's the reason why I created a classroom now I already selected the image that we're going to use for the classroom now before we can put this information before we combine that information we need to create another thread and that's what's called scene now I already created the scene thread here and as you can see there are two there are two images here now the first image should be the profile that you created alright this one so you copy that right click and copy the link and then go back to scene and then you forward slash imagine and then paste and then you go back to the location and then you copy that as well copy the link and then go back to scene and then paste all right and then what you do for the prompt you use the face of college student full body profile and then I was imagining the character sitting on a chair well, so I just put in sitting on his desk and he has to have wavy hair and doesn't need to have ponytail and hyphen hyphen Niji so this is the character I created so I'll just paste that information here and see how it goes alright it already created our combined image and since I already created the first one the second one here looks very good it's very promising so but when I created the second one it looks like it looks good but it's the person or the character is not facing the right direction the blackboard is here and he's facing on the other side so but you get the point right so the point here is you have to specify the mid uh, specify in mid journey that what character position or how you want the characters to face and those kind of stuff so that mid journey will actually be able to identify how you want it to be so in order for you to remove some of the things that you don't want you just use the hyphen hyphen no and then followed by whatever you want to remove now this is the bonus part I won't delve on how to create a comic book or coloring book here because there are tons of videos you can go through on YouTube to check on how to start uh, a business using or create a business for comic book business or coloring book business unless uh, you you want to watch everything you can actually but I already researched some of the things that you need for the tools and this would be you need for the script should be chat chat GPT you can create your script chat using chat GPT second one is uh, the images you can create using mid journey or any generative AI and the third one would be for the editing of that image you can use Krita okay so but if you don't you don't want to use Krita you can use other editing tool and to combine the script and the comics you can use either Canva alright you can use Canva and um, another tool or you can use this tool plask.com I already put that description in uh, the link in the description below 
and if you want to create a cover for the anime or the characters comic book character coloring book character that you have uh, you can create uh, use uh, canva or uh, this uh, link uh, affinity.serif.com and also this is in the description below and if you want to sell the comic book you can sell it on Amazon if you want to know more about how AI can help you with your business you can click on the link above this video thank you